What do you got for us, Barry? Two beers, brother. From there? Two beers. That's the chop. That's the bottle shop. And uh, where we're we going to eat? <laughs> I'm probably guessing where the cow is. <laughs> Table for two. Always wanted to know if there were any snowflakes here in India. And where did we go wrong in the West? Where we know the men do all the hard work, you know, like throwing bricks and farming and driving tractors. Well, not here in India, because while all the men are over there drinking chai, we got all the women throwing bricks in a truck. That's gonna be good solid work. Those women really know how to work. Look at that. That bloke is a bit of a snowflake. Doing really well. Hello. You are the future of India. Say hi G-Man. Hi, G-Man. Look at this. This is tough work, two bricks at a time. She's doing extremely well. Look at that, you are strong ladies. Hello, good catch. Hey, thought we'd take uh, a bit of a trek rather than walking all out, <laughs> rather than walking, rather than driving all the time. Get off our ass, get off out of the tuk-tuk, see some of the nature that uh, India's got on offer as well, rather than just the cities and the highways and the cows. This place is pretty amazing, it's called Polo. It's a little bit off the track, but the one thing that we uh, didn't see here, it's litter. No rubbish. This is actually a plastic free zone. You shot of the mountain, that's pretty cool. Everyone, how are you, how are you all doing? We are here at the Statue of Unity. 
and we thought we'd just give you a bit of perspective as to uh, the size of uh, a head. And we wanted to give you a little bit of appreciation for three really good looking heads. It's a good looking head back there. The ghost has come to town. Leave the children alone, G Man. It's my bus. Oh, lovely and pink. Maybe not. Don't touch them. Hello, sir. I want call him sir. I don't like this trickery. It's the men's shit. Ah. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So Spook's already in trouble. Um, no cigarettes, no matches, no firearms, no water bottles, and we're not allowed any tripods. So Barry's got all his camera gear, and they are hounding him. And I was just told, no camera, no camera. <laughs> oh, they're telling me not to film. <laughs> Cheers. Shake and bake. And she's, and she's your happiest dog? 
You're one of our happiest dogs. <laughs> One of the white one. <coughs> we named her Marin. Actually, she was going to slaughterhouse in a truck, but yeah. somehow she got escaped. And a nice guy found her and directly brought to us. So first, she was very much scared, was sick. Hi, boys. So this is our hospital as well as sanctuary for all the honorless to the animals. So we rescue dogs, cows, donkeys and in total we have got more than 700 animals right now. In this facility? Yeah. And this one is India's one of the most leading and busiest rescue centers. Mm. Every day we are getting more than 60 to 70 calls every day just from Udaipur. Mm. An accident is the most common. Broken legs, fracture, many times paralyzed. We also get many cases of maggot wounds. If an animal is there with an open wound, soon it's changed into a big infected one. But still, we have got amazing recoveries. We always give them a chance. And obvious, these animals, they do live quite tough, hard life on street. But mm -hmm. we can say they are the real survivors. Yeah. They are the real fighters for the life. Yeah. So the reality is we give less to them. But in return, they give a lot to us. Real life lessons. And whenever they get fine, we release them back. Back way to same location same from location, where we yeah. rescued them. Yeah, we can't keep each and every no. one over here because mm -hmm. we have to rescue more and more. Sure, but before releasing, what we do, we spay and neuter them, we do vaccinate them against rabies and other viral infections like distemper, parvo. All those cases. Someone have uh, abandoned her next to our gate. She was a small puppy and we were not having any proper idea like from where she is so we couldn't release her back. And she had grown with all these cows and calf. So she thinks she is one of them. She feel more safe in this area. Paralyzed dog is. We think they are disabled, they are paralyzed. But these dogs they don't. Come on. In most of the shelters they don't keep paralyzed dogs. They utilize them. But over here we always give them a chance. We have seen real second happy life in They only need a little bit more love and care. Diamond. So he's Diamond. This one is Hugh. Kulam. Akash and Johnny. Really fine, cool and calm, then we make them fun. And we also keep some really shy and scared ones, so we can spend more time in them. To make them friendly and socialize. <laughs> Papa, wait a